In this video, I'm going to show you a very simple example of the geospatial learning framework, what we call the GLF. This is a system that allows us to deliver locationally aware web-based learning material in the field. In essence, it's a way of hanging web pages off trees and integrating those into maps. At the moment, this is a very simple system, but already it's quite useful, and its likely applications extend well beyond education. We also have big plans for it in the future, and we're working on building in logic and far more interaction, which will allow us to build anything from games to interactive field trips. This example of the GLF is a tree walk around the Nottingham University Park. It's based upon a paper brochure that is produced by the university, and serves to show how such material can be repurposed. So, with no more ado, here is the GLF tree walk. I'm going to show you the University Park tree walk and we have it working here on an iPhone, I have an iPhone, um, and if you see me starting up the browser here, and there's a slight pause while it um, works out where we are, and then we will see the title screen of the browser. Now it's a bit hard to see that interface on the video, so we have it in a simulator here, and if I press the start walk button, then you can see that it knows we're in the courtyard of the Trent Building. And here we have the Trent Building. And um, we can read various um, bits of information about this courtyard and walk around it and find interesting things to see. And so here you can see we have a Hodgins Lee, which is a form of high clear holly. And the um, system tells us a bit about it and gives us some nice pictures of it. Um, now, it's not immediately obvious where we might want to go next, so we can switch over into the map view by pressing this button here. And if we wait for a moment, we will get the map. And here we are. The little man icon in the middle represents where I am now, and the um, tree icons around are various points of interest. So let's go and see if we can find this one that's over here, which is the best one we'll serve. Now, as I walk away from the Trent building, you can see that the view changes to tell me about the Bassingfield Stone. This is a large lump of hornblende schist, which is around here somewhere. Now, it's not immediately apparent where it is, although it says here it's behind a holly bush, and I can see a holly bush here, so I can take a fairly good guess. But if I switch over to the map view, um, we can see there it's um, fairly obvious it's down by the side of the Trent building. So let's go and see if we can find it. There we are, the Bassingfield Stone, a large lump of rock. Now, as I'm walking away from the Bassingfield Stone, you can see that the view changes to this view, which is because we're outside of the trigger areas. We are six metres away from the Bassingfield Stone, and we're seven metres away from the end of Jubilee Avenue. So, let's go and have a walk down Jubilee Avenue. And here you can see it's changed and Jubilee Avenue. So here we are in the gardens of Highfield's house. This was originally built in 1797 for Joseph Lowe uh, and it's a lovely house with some interesting things in the gardens that we can find out about. For example, over here we have a Japanese maple pool. As you can see from the picture, this is a spectacular tree at some times of the year, although less so at the moment.
Content for the GLF is created on a desktop PC using a Google Maps mashup. Here you can see the map view of the path of the tree walk that we used in this demonstration. We can draw new areas onto the map and edit existing ones. For example, if I click on the Highfields House area in the map view, we can switch into the content view to make changes. Thank you very much for watching this demonstration.